Hello, I am Sunil Divekar with you for the study of phase diagram. For a better understanding of phase diagram, we take up a problem and solve. We take up this problem from the book, which in this case is seen here, Callister's Material Science and Engineering. It's a second edition. And I am going to the page where this particular problem statement is given. This is the problem number 7.12 where the data is given a 50 weight percent nickel 50 weight percent copper alloy is slowly cooled from 1400 degrees celsius to 1200 degrees celsius and based on this data there are questions a b c d that we are going to uh, work on in order to work on this we will be required to refer to a phase diagram which is on the uh, page 177 of this book and this is the figure 7.13 this is a phase diagram and I have with me for a better graphical analysis the magnified form of this particular figure so that we can do some uh, geometry work on this so this is a question the question as I mentioned is a 50 weight percent nickel, 50 weight percent copper alloy is slowly cooled from 1400 degrees Celsius to 1200 degrees Celsius. And the first part of the question says that what temperature does the first solid phase form? Let's refer to the phase diagram. This is the phase diagram temperature in degrees Celsius on the y axis and composition expressed in weight percent nickel on the x axis so that the numbers here 0, 20, 40, 60 and 80 and 100 refer to the amount of nickel if you need to find the amount of copper you should subtract these numbers from 100 so here we have 100 percent copper the other side is 100 percent nickel now the composition that has been mentioned is a 50 weight percent nickel and 50 weight percent copper obviously that is this point here 40 to 60 this is 50 and we can actually draw a composition line this line is essentially perpendicular to the x-axis so we mark this line perpendicular to the x-axis this is the composition line here so the composition line is actually a vertical line and it intersects 1400 so on this line the starting point has been mentioned here 1400 degrees celsius for this composition and cooling up to this point that is 1200 degrees celsius had been mentioned here please note that that alloy starts cooling from this temperature and as the temperature reduces the temperature will come to a point which is this this point is obtained as an intersection between the composition line and the liquidus line so this is a liquidus line when you project this point on the y-axis you come to know the temperature at which the first solid phase will start coming out. So we know that above liquidus it is liquid, below solid is 100% solid, in between will be liquid plus solid. The formation of solid starts here, the formation of solid ends here. So these two temperatures are important for us. Now before we begin with the uh, graphical solution for this question, we need to understand the scale of the diagram better. So I'm going to measure the scale of the diagram here. It simply means that if you put up a scale, we note that from this point to this point, this is 28 mm and the 28 mm distance covers 20% nickel, right? And then when we talk about this vertical distance, again, this distance is 28 mm. So it is running from 1000 to 1100, which means we can write here the scale of the diagram like this. So we have on the y-axis, temperature degree Celsius 28 mm is equal to 100 degrees Celsius. And on the x-axis, percentage nickel is given 28 mm 
इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट निकल इन ऑर्डर टू अटेम्प्ट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन एज आई मैंशन एट वॉट टेम्परेचर डज द फर्स्ट सॉलिड फेज फॉर्म वी नीड टू ड्रॉप ए पर्पेंडिकुलर फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ द कंपोजिशन लाइन विथ द लिक्विड लाइन सो वी हैव हियर वेन यू ड्रॉ अ लाइन वी ऑप्टेन दिस पॉइंट सो वेन यू मेजर द डिस्टेंस ऑफ दिस पॉइंट we find that this point measures a distance equal to 88 mm so we say when the temperature is scaled to represent 28 mm for every 100 degree celsius then for the a part the point on the liquidus is at a distance of 88 mm which would mean that 88 multiplied by 100 divided by 28 this gives us a value of 314.2 degrees celsius now please note that 314 degrees celsius is way below 1000 degrees celsius so since we have measured the distance from 1000 to this point we need to add the 1000 below it and therefore that point temperature will be obtained by adding 1000 degrees celsius so we have here this answer as 1314 degrees celsius rounded off and that actually is the answer to the first part at what temperature does the first solid phase form and the answer is at 1314 degrees celsius to attempt the second part of the question we would the second part of the question is what is the composition of this solid phase now the composition of the solid phase is obtained by dropping a perpendicular from the solidus line onto the composition line now this line if you extend on the right will intersect the solidus line so we have this line extended it intersects with the solidus line and then this point when projected perpendicular to the x axis is going to give us the concentration of the solidus uh, of the solid that is first found so when you try to measure this distance again we find that that distance here is what it is again 88 so again when we talk about the second part of the question the composition of the solid we have to find out the composition of the solid this is x axis giving composition and the distance that we have found out is 88 mm so we have 88 multiplied by 20 and divided by 28 so this will give you like 62.85 now you have to remember that these numbers are in percentage of nickel so when we talk about this number 62.5 it is going to be percentage weight percent of nickel obviously when you subtract this number from 100 you will get the amount of copper which in this case is 37.15% copper so the answer to the second part of the question here is 62.85% nickel and 37.15% copper third at what temperature does the liquid solidify as i mentioned to you earlier when we have an alloy cooling down the solidification starts here and it ends here so this is solid slime and the last remaining liquid will be found just below above this temperature so we need to drop a perpendicular again from this point of intersection between the composition line and the solid slime that point is here and when we measure the distance of this point from the 1000 degrees celsius we find this temperature to be 75 so again on the diagram we say that the point of intersection on solidus here was at 75 mm and the corresponding temperature is obtained by 75 multiplied by 100 divided by 28 that's the scale
and this temperature works out to again 267.85 degrees celsius as we have done it earlier we have to add to this 1000 degrees celsius and that gives us a rounded off value of 1268 degrees celsius so the third part will write here as 1268 degrees celsius that the answer to the third part and for the fourth part again it says what is the composition of this last remaining liquid phase and we know that the composition of the liquid phase is obtained by dropping a perpendicular from the liquidus line onto the composition line so here this is the last temperature this is the point of intersection and we need to drop a perpendicular from that point onto the x-axis which in this case will come out to here as you can see this point and therefore we measure the distance of this point from the zero coordinate that distance works out to 52 mm so we have again <coughs> for the composition of the liquid at 52 mm distance so to have that scale we'll have 58 sorry 52 multiplied by 20 divided by 28 now this gives you a value of 37 i have slightly rounded off this value so it is 37 percent nickel and obviously the remaining 63 percent is going to be copper right so again for the last part of the answer the answer is 37 percent nickel and 63 percent copper that answers all the questions we are done. Thank you.